And you imprisoned him. And it was a fair trial, too. Oh, yeah, with him as my lawyer? I gave it my best shot. <laughs> Didn't it ever occur to you people that you're not allowed to do this? Now, hold it. Wait a minute. We got a chart. And that makes us the neighborhood justice center. Come on, show them the paper. Go ahead. Looks official. That's from the Law Enforcement Assistance Administration from the Justice Department. You ever hear of them? <laughs> Check this out, Mr. Bender. In the meantime, we're going to need some more information from all of you, if you don't mind finding seats. Anywhere. Here you go. Bruno. Uh, Mrs. Niemeyer, Dietrich, you don't look busy. Can't fool you. Want to have a seat over there? What about my muffins? Park them over there. <laughs> I bet you want to take a statement from Mr. Uh... You don't remember me, Captain? Huh? Rock. Leon Rock. I can't hear shrugs. I'm sorry. No, I'm afraid I don't rec recognize you. You arrested me for shoplifting three years ago. Oh, right. Yes. And you... You remember my roommate, Mr. Lukather? Sure. We evicted you. Right. <laughs> Sir, uh, we could reminisce about the good old days after the statement. All right with you? Fine. Mr. Lucas, would you step this way? Hey, my lawyers show up yet? I'm right here, Danny. <laughs> you my real one. What? You're firing me? Yeah. But I'm still working on the appeal. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm calling because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in receipt of your uh, initial asking price, and uh, I, I might be willing to, uh, to make a counteroffer. Did I say something funny? <laughs> Firm. 137. <clears throat> What the hell's going on? What's happening? It's no big deal. Uh, yeah, um, I'm Charles Bogart, attorney for the Law Enforcement Assistance Administration. Are you Captain Miller? Uh, I'll be right back. So, uh, how are things going in Washington? Just great. It's all over for Jimmy, huh? <laughs> sure, nobody cared when he went to the ball game. <laughs> Bogart? I'm Captain Miller. Captain, I'm afraid I'm a little bit confused. So are we. These people are part of a community court, authorized and funded by the government. Yeah, well, I'm afraid your court has been conducting criminal prosecutions, imprisoning people. That can't be. They were empowered to arbitrate only community grievances, resolve minor disputes with neighbors. That was boring. <laughs> Can we talk some here in private? Sorry, Mr. Bogart. Uh, uh, Mr. Bogart? I work for the government, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, things are tough all over. <laughs> What's the matter with people today? You tell me. Why is everyone always in such a hurry? I mean, why can't people ever take the time to just stop and count the flowers? <laughs> Who's the dullard? <laughs> Basically, they're good people. I guess they just got a little carried away. Look, if you release them in my custody, I'll assume full responsibility. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not that simple, Mr. Bogart. See, Mr. Rizzo has filed a complaint against them. False imprisonment, but... Can I help you? Do you want any of this taken down? <laughs> Sorry, I thought she was going for coffee. Come on, Stella, I'll give you some shorthand. <laughs> These courts are functioning very efficiently in many, many communities, and I'd hate to see one unfortunate incident jeopardize the program. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. You know, Captain, this couldn't come at a worse time for me. I've got many other problems to handle. I can say the same thing. Look, I feel confident we can work something out, arrive at a reasonable solution to the problem. You know anything about real estate law? <laughs> what? Can you do this? Social security number? Uh, five, five, three, two, eight, 
for handicapped people such as yourself to participate in the census so that you make sure the government knows you're part of the country and are entitled to your share of attention and services. Hey, a guy came to the door just last week, said he was from the census. I filled out the forms with him and everything. Well, good for you. Psychopedias came yesterday. <laughs> could get a temporary injunction. But that's a waste of lawyer's fees. Thanks anyway. You're leaving now? I am. What? Well, there's nothing more I can do. Are you cutting us loose? Uh, I'm afraid you'll have to suffer the consequences of your actions. That's not fair. I say we make a run for it. <laughs> Captain, we were only trying to make a place safer for us to live in, and it was working. Mr. Lucas, I sympathize with you, but if everybody went around doing what you're doing, in no time, we'd have no crime. <laughs> the point is, we've got a judicial system that we've got to have a little faith in. All right. Rizzo's bell ticket's waiting downstairs. <laughs> nice timing, huh? <laughs> Turn mm -hmm. uh, Have a seat, Mr. Uh, Binder. This is Nehemiah, please. Captain, I really got to get out. I know the feeling. <laughs> Good luck to you all. I'll keep in touch. Oh, Captain. About your housing dilemma, yeah? There is one other course of action that occurs to me. What's that? Jersey. <laughs> Think about it. Captain? Yes. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, sorry I can't stay, guys. But I'll see all you folks at the trial. You know, yours. Get a haircut. <laughs> Come on. Question to do. <laughs> Sir, I got the statement. Okay, process of. Okay, everybody on your feet. It's time for pictures and prints. Let's fall in. Form a straight line. Get it. We'll be moving down the rear car and heading on down to the second floor. Marines, eh? Explorers. <laughs> okay, there'll be no talking, no straggling, no smoking in the stairway. 